Hey guys, um, today we're going to be talking about chapter 10 of The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, so hopefully you've already read it, um, and this is just um, some brief discussion about it, or maybe some points that maybe you might you may have missed, or ones you want to talk about. Um, so here um, we have the kids, um, so Lucy, Susan, and Peter have gone with the beavers and they're traveling to the stone table to meet Aslan. But on their way, who do they meet? Father Christmas. Right. Um, so we know in the beginning um, when we saw the white witches slay, um, we talked about how it looked a lot like Santa Claus's sleigh. Um, and then here we actually have Father Christmas. Um, and this also goes back to it being always winter but never Christmas. Um, so this is definitely a clue um, to the reader to be like, okay, it, it's almost over. Like um, the things that need to come into play to defeat her are here and things are coming along quickly now. Uh, so actually seeing Santa Claus or Father Christmas um, in this context in this way um, is definitely, definitely a tool that C.S. Lewis used to uh, demonstrate what was going to happen. Um, so he gives out sort of gifts to um, Peter, Susan, and Lucy. And he says specifically that these are tools, not toys. So they're not toys to be used for entertainment, but they are tools to assist them in defeating the White Witch and helping out with the battle. So to Peter, he gives a shield and a sword. So Peter is firstborn. Um, he's the oldest uh, of them all. He's a um, boy. So Peter is um, the one who's going to be doing the most, most of the fighting. Um, we think of siblings who are first, uh, firstborn to be sort of more, uh, Hothead, not like hot-headed, but more like more responsible, uh, protective of the other ones. Uh, so uh, Father Christmas gives him a sword and a shield. Um, to Susan, he gives Susan a bow and arrow. Um, he says that he doesn't want Susan to be in the battle, which makes sense, um, that he gives her a long-range weapon. So he gives her something that she can shoot from far away. So if something, um, an enemy does try to get close to her, she can take him down. So it's a little bit dark, but um, he has this thing where he says that he doesn't want either of the girls to be in the battle, which makes sense for Lucy because she's really young. Um, but Susan, I think that was a case of C.S. Lewis's uh, personal opinion. Um, so he gives them, a, she, he gives her, um, a bow and arrow, and he also gives her a horn to sound um, if she is in trouble, and that'll bring help. Um, and for Lucy, he gives her a dagger, so something also to defend herself if need be. Um, but the most important thing that he gives Lucy is a healing cordial, um, and cordial is another term for medicine, so like a healing like medicine or balm, um, so that even if the person the injured person um, is on their last breath and they're about to die. If she just drops like a few, few little drops of that medicine and that cordial um, into their mouth, then they will be saved. So these are the things that Father Christmas has given these children um, to be able to go forth and to fight the White Witch, um, which is where we are getting to next. Um, and so stay tuned for chapter 11. <laughs>